I am a big fan of your work. It's always Thank you. I've, I've spoken to you in the past. It's it's a, it's always cool to talk with you. Thank you. I have a whole bunch of questions, and then before we jump into Citadel, um, you clearly know how to cook. And I am curious with what you post on Instagram and people now know you know how to cook. Um, how many people are asking you to like come over and cook for them? <laughs> I do get certain people will do like, you know, can we have, do you think that, what was it recently somebody said, would love to have Mr. Tucci come over and, you know, we'll fly him over and whatever and he can just cook for, <laughs> well, he's been, I was like, why would I do that? I don't want to do that. Do you know what I mean? I don't, <clears throat> I don't. Just because I know how, I don't necessarily want. I want to cook for the people that I know and love. Do you know what I mean? Like or me, if, like but, you. Yeah, exactly. Or if it's a, you know, if it's a charity thing or something like that, and you know, of course. But um, and I, I always want to go into. I always want to go into kitchens and cook with people because I want to learn, you know, because I know how to cook certain things, but I'm not a chef, hardly a chef. Um, I like to go and sort of insinuate myself into a kitchen and cook with somebody and enjoyed, have them teach me. Yeah, I enjoyed watching your show. Uh, Thank you. On, on, you know, uh, searching for... Anyway, um, what is your actual favorite dish to cook? Well, there's a lot of them. I really love... I re Obviously, I love pasta. So I love cooking any kind of pasta. Um, but I think like making a really simple pasta, like uh, fresh tomato with onions, garlic basil, olive oil. And then you just toss that up with fresh pasta, ideally, or just spaghetti or whatever. That's to me like one of the greatest dishes you can ever have. You don't need anything else. And then of course, from there, you can you can just augment that. You can put pancetta in it, you can put, you can put shrimp in it, you can put beans in it, you can put whatever you want. And you wonder why people ask you to cook for them. Yeah. Because like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, um, how can I get him to cook? Yeah, for me? It's no. a, and it's so much easier than you think a lot of that stuff. I cook the same things all the time because they're comforting. Sure. Um, I'll move on to other things. Yeah, all right. Uh, I am, uh, one last thing before Citadel, I'm really looking forward to the Electric State. Yeah, another, me too. An another Russo Brother project. Uh, what can you tease about who you play and being a part of that? Well, obviously it's based on the graphic novel. Um, so I, I think that it doesn't, I don't know that it follows it exactly, but uh, it, for the most part, that 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 is the story. Um, <clears throat> um, what can I say about it? I don't really know. I don't really know what I can say and what, I, I, do you know what I mean? So I want to sure. be yeah, I'll careful. Just, I'll just say that it, it I'll, I'll move on so you don't get in trouble, but I'm really looking forward. It's a huge project. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. It's um, huge. So with Citadel, uh, one of the things about it, so it's six episodes. Yeah. Which of the six are you most looking forward for people to see? That's hard to say because what I saw were was a rough cut of six episodes. So I haven't seen really the final, final version of it. I almost I can't I like them all, and I'm not saying that because I'm a part of it. I like them all. I think they're amazing, and and it, it's so surprising. You know, in one episode you think this is going to happen, the next thing that happens, that happens. That it's so complex that I'd say all of them. Well, one of the things about I've seen the first three, and uh, it has more twists and turns than I think anyone is expecting. Yeah, definitely. You know? So I'm assuming it continues with four, five, and six. Oh yes. Right. Yeah. How much did they tell you when you signed on? Here's what we're going to do. Here are the twists and turns. And how much is it sort of like we're making a big spy, big spy show. You want to be part of it. I read all the episodes. <clears throat> I was given all the episodes. I read all the episodes. And but you have to remember as we're filming, things are changing. Sure. Right. So you have to keep sort of saying, so if that happens, then what about the thing that happened before? And how do we, and then you have to sort of rectify that or, you know, change that or actually know it works because this is going to happen then and blah, 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 blah. So there's all that. So it's in constant flux and you're just getting the information and prepping yourself for, okay, when we do this scene, I know that I've done this. And, but it's quite, Complicated. Uh, one of the things about the show that I'm I'm really excited about is that there's going to be an Italian version yeah. and one in India. Yeah. And it's, you know, a, a really huge global thing. Um, can you sort of talk about that aspect that like there's going to be 
Uh, I, I think it's really cool. Yeah, I think it's really cool too. I, as far as I know, this has never been done before. And I think it's, I think it's amazing. I, I think what it's gonna do is, hopefully there'll be all this sort of, you know, cross pollination of actors and directors and who knows, you know, storylines and all that. But I, but I think what it's going to do is, uh, it's, it's going to introduce people to so many different actors, so many different directors. Uh, that all all over the world. I think that's a really wonderful thing. I'm actually most looking forward to the one from India, and I think that the success of RRR has maybe opened the door a little bit because India cinema and Bollywood has been going for so long, and I yeah. think it's such a small audience in America. Yeah, it is. It is, and I think this is going to sort of really open the doors. And the same with the Italian too. It's great. Can I ask? Do, did you film any sort of appearances or cameos in those other? I can't answer that question. <laughs> sure, I have to keep digging. I, I have, know, I know. I have I know. to try. I know. You know what I mean? Um, wh one of the things of the first episode, it really has a, a movie style action set piece on a tele on a television series. I mean, that is a huge action set piece. Yeah. Were you a were you excited that you were not part of it, or did you want to be a part of it? Because filming that is a challenge. Yeah, I, I mean, those guys are you know. They're significantly, Richard's, you know, 20, almost 30 years younger than I am. So uh, <coughs> it's a little easier for him to do it than for me. Uh, I, I do like to do the physical stuff, but maybe not on that scale. We'll, we'll see. But I thought it was incredibly impressive. Oh, a hundred percent. It's staggering. No, it's, it, it is a movie set piece. I know. I you don't know. know how they do it. Uh, time and money. Yeah, well, there you go, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, so I really enjoy Central Park and uh, your voice as Bitsy. Uh, how did you get involved in that and how much fun did you have doing it? Oh my God, it was so much fun. Josh Gad said, hey, will you do this thing? I'm doing, this is years ago now. It's like four yeah. years ago or more. He said, um, I'm gonna do this thing where you play this, you know, like 80 year old woman. And I was like, sure. And then we played around with the voice for a bit. And it happened, you know, the voice came pretty quickly. And then we just started doing it. And then it became really successful. They're not making any more though. And I'm just sad about it. There's a lot of episodes out there. Yeah. And, but, but you're really great at that. And, Thank uh, you. you know, with, I, I hope you do some voicemails as that character. Yeah, oh God, I, yeah. I absolutely loved it, loved it. On that note, I have to go. I'm just yeah. gonna say uh, good luck with the rest of your speed dating. Thank, thank you for talking. Yes, thank you so much.